Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Sanfx YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews back with Android 13 ROM. You can see 5th February 2023 is the latest security patch available for any smartphone, and that's present in this particular ROM. And kernel user is 4.1 4.304. Tequila OS kernel has been used. It's a February 9th latest build available for Poco X3 slash NFC. And I've been running the CPU throttling test. You can see for last 10 minutes and 33 seconds and 7 milliseconds. The maximum is 188 and average is 169 and minimum is 120. It's throttled to 82% of its max performance, which is good in my opinion. That's the CPU throttling test in this particular ROM and this is the home screen you get typical home screen and typical quick settings panel in the edit section you get lot more options just use them like this I mean you can drag like this to use them drag them whatever you want you can drag and have it like this if you don't want you can do it vice versa and this are the home screen as I said and you get typical wallpapers and styles here change wallpapers you get just one wallpaper pre-installed here and wallpaper colors and basic colors the combination of the colors are also included here let me show you as you can see a dark theme again you get this kind of dark theme I haven't seen any pitch black condition in this particular room let's see themed icons you get it again app grid up to find files available here and widgets obviously the android 12 13 widgets are available as you can see the clock widgets you can drag them and add from here other widgets are also present in my this particular rom google photos unlimited storage is available in this particular rom and start with benchmark is this the android benchmark you can also judge the app opening time how long it is taking compared to any previous rounds 3,34,682 guys and temperature raise was 0 0.8 degrees Celsius and 3 percentage of battery has been dropped during this testing of Android benchmark in this Takila Tortilla OS which is good in my opinion and by the way if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button guys it's long time that people watching my videos but not subscribing have subscribed to my channel at least now and you'll get similar kind of videos yes and this is the score and if you like the video give it a like too and we'll go with Geekbench scores here as you can see the single score is 539 and multi score is 1512 which is okay not great or anything like that Linux 4.1 4.3 and 4 tackle OS kernel has been used as I said before and it's a latest security patch the February 5th CPU throttling already shown DRM information you get as you can see the app opening time level 1 certification you can watch all the audit application in high definition resolution that's not the problem in this particular ROM even internet connectivity I have 100 MPS fiber connection here you can see it's pulling up to 90 or anything like that which is good even the mobile data connection carrier aggregation support is also working fine in this room no problem regarding that and dialer as usual you get a google dialer and direct video call feature is also available in this particular room as you can see let's make a call and see whether the call recording yes call recording option is also available in this room that's fine here and I was speaking about the benchmark results and speed test. Yes, and even the headphone jack quality is also fine here. Calls, everything was fine even with headphone jack, even with speakers and even with inbuilt speaker. That's fine in my opinion. And camera application, you know, I installed this Hano Build Gcam. As you can see, this is the Gcam version I use it's very quite good you get ultra wide support also everything is fine here front camera also hdr capabilities has been improved in this particular camera application the front you can use any other gcam ports i tried multiple gcam ports i found this one has all the ticks whatever i want that it get tick here that's why i am using that if you have any suggestion let me know in the comment section i used even greatness camera for video especially it was very good the greatness g cam also it's up to you guys and safety and status yeah it will get passed as you can see you know it's getting failed here cts profile match is getting failed you need to manually pass the play store certification 
that you need to keep in mind guys in this particular room i didn't expected this with this particular room i don't know before i haven't flashed this room i haven't even tried also because one and the same each and every room just they change the name and bring back the similar roms uh, that's why it is and the settings panel is also little bit of modified here and tequila os settings status bar you get double tap and icons some of the settings here combined signal icons i turn on already and buttons you get just playback control here apart from that nothing is available here and uh, let's go back here and app settings are available notifications are also available here and battery battery life you can see here i just tried charging it yes i want to show this one where is that yeah the good thing is in this particular rom at least you get this charging rapidly which is good in my opinion because some of the name fame roms will don't give that 33 watt charging support in some of the builds i am not speaking about every build they will skip that and battery percentage battery saver extreme battery saver is also given here which is smooth the interface wise it is smooth i have experiencing smooth here but that it is felt match i don't know what's the problem it's simply failed here sound and vibration again you get all the options vibration and haptics you get just enable disable options here clear speaker options are also given dirac sound enhancer you get all the options including enable hi-fi it will make difference guys using the headphones turn it on and have a look yes it will not make huge difference but a little bit of difference will be noticed here and dark theme again as you can see there is no any pitch black condition option here i simply hate this they should have implemented it and display size text i kept a little bit bigger here and to look like this look you need to copy same thing and have it a look colors again you get three options auto rotate scheme minimum maximum kept to 120 tap to bake is given ambient display again turn it off if you want a very good battery life. per app refresh rate is also given here wallpaper sun style i already shown you accessibility menu missing here it was my favorite in any aos panda 12 12.1 12, 12 l 13 those things should be provided here and digital well-being and security options you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock also if i go into more security no app lock anything like that that's it and it's fine working fine the device and in the system you get gestures into system navigation into gesture you won't get any option to increase the pill length or radius that's how it is let's check the fingerprint unlock as you can see it's very quick to unlock your smartphone using the fingerprint let's check the face unlock this is a little bit difficult for me at least to showcase it out count recognize face it seems it happens quite a few times here now it's get unlocked i don't know what's problem sometimes in face unlock anyhow the fingerprint unlock is fine if you add multiple times the face then it will be easy and even the fingerprint also we're going to work fine and uh, these are the settings and everything i hope I explained everything in this particular room. if you have any specific questions guys go down and comment down below don't come to telegram or instagram and don't spam there instead you give comment here i'll definitely answer in the youtube comment comment sections then have a look on the comment section you have your own ideas and you have any uh, suggestion to this particular rom you can have it in the comment section feel free to comment i'll definitely answer them and we'll see bgma the pubg mobile gameplay how it handles obviously you won't get any high fps count here let's see and you guys can see here nothing fancy as i said before smooth plus ultra gameplay only and this is the volume panel you get here gameplay according to 40 fps it's fine actually I don't think so any points I haven't received here I mean regarding this particular ROM to suggest it as a daily driver and one more thing is this is very important I flash 13.0.1.0 firmware flash the same not 0 0.4 0 0.1 global one they have mentioned 12.5.4 but I don't flash it you know why 
that's my flashing method you can watch in the shorts video similar method just use this uh, rom gif file instead of uh, that uh, lineage os i have shown in the shorts video you can check out in my channel and firmware also there i use 13.0.4 eea and here you use 13.0.1 global one okay i got at least a kill here that's it i don't have any good things about i don't say any good things about this rom only the smoothness in the ui is quite a good but we get both other roms also some similar to this roms like usp roms like evolution x they are also as similar to this one and they even get uh, safety net status passed here and dark theme options you can choose and even pill and 3 days you can adjust there are a lot more options you can look it out but i don't recommend as of now for this particular rom tecla os but it's a good option you can keep it out as a option even the battle life is also not that great in my initial impressions of this particular rom uh, that's it guys if you like the video give it a like and subscribe to my channel you will be getting a lot more content this year in this channel share this video to your friends and family members those who have interest in this kind of videos guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now